What goes in must come out. But did you know that some drugs can linger in your body for hours or even days while others disappear within minutes? And the difference is how fast your body removes the medication, which is called elimination. By the end of this video, you'll understand what elimination really means, the difference between metabolism and excretion, what half-life is and why that matters for us, and how your organs work together to keep your medication levels in balance and safe so that you don't have accidental too much medication in your system. My name is Tukova Wallace-Gay. I'm the community's pharmacist, and my goal here is to help you build your bridge to better meds so that you can move from confusion to clarity and feel confident about managing your own medications. Now, in other videos, we've already talked about the steps before this step. So absorption, which is how the medicine gets in, distribution, how it gets around the body, and metabolism, how it's broken down or changed in the body. And now we're going to bring all that together with elimination, which is the final step in the medication's journey throughout the body. And this is going to be how your body clears medicine and keeps everything in check. All right, so let's make some sense of it. Elimination, more specifically, is a combined process of metabolism and excretion. Now, think of it like a two-step cleaning system. First, metabolism, which we talked about in the last video, changes or prepares the medication so that it's ready to be removed or excreted from the body. Excretion is the process of actually removing it from the body. Together, these two things, metabolism and excretion, determine how long a medicine stays active and also how long or how often you need to take it or you may need to take that dose. Now, every medicine has what we call a half-life. And this is just like the name implies, it's the time that it takes for your body to remove half of that drug from your bloodstream. And it usually takes about five half-lives to completely remove the drug or totally remove the drug from your bloodstream. But if a medicine has a half-life of four hours, then after four hours, only about half of that drug dose remains in your body. After eight hours, only a quarter of it, and so on and so forth until it's all gone from the body. Now, some meds, when it comes to half-life, some meds are taken once a day, while others may be taken every few hours. So think about something like lisinopril, which is used for blood pressure, it's taken once a day because it has a little bit of a longer half-life. So it will last throughout that 12 to 18 hour period that we need it to in order to help with your blood pressure. Whereas something like uh, hydrocodone, like a pain medication, it may say take every four to six hours as needed for pain because after about four hours or so, you've pretty much eliminated most of that drug from your body. So you would need to redose it. Um, and there are ways that we can manufacture drugs so that they last longer, so that we extend their half-life if they are normally something that has a shorter half-life. Um, but you just have to see if there is an extended release version of that medication available. So again, this is why some medications can be taken once a day and some have to be taken twice a day or multiple times a day in order for you to maintain the levels of that drug in your system that you need for the therapeutic effect. Now, I had a, a person the other day, and she's not a patient, she's a church member of mine, and I was talking to her about her meds, and she was like, when I wake up in the morning, my blood pressure is sky high, and she's like, I'm taking my medications, I'm taking, the, you know, all my medications every day, and so I'm going through her list with her, and she's like, I'm like, are you taking this, 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 so she's like, yes, I'm taking all of them, so we get to one specific medication that she uses for her blood pressure, and it's called hydralazine, so if you're on it, you know, keep this in mind. Um, and hydralazine is usually dosed twice a day, sometimes three times a day because of its half-life. Now, for some medications, when it wears off, it just wears off and it's not doing its job anymore. For other medications, it wears off and not only is it not doing its job, but there may be some withdrawal or reflex or rebound effects associated with it. Hydralazine is one of those. So if you don't take hydralazine like you're supposed to, when that dose wears off, your body kind of like reflexes and normally the hydralazine would dilate her blood vessels so that her blood pressure goes down but it reflexes and kind of like constricts a little bit and so her blood pressure was shooting up and so um I was really counseling her like she was taking both of her hydralazine tablets in the morning she's like I know I have to take two of them a day um but 
instead of her taking one in the morning and one, you know, eight to 10 hours later, she was taking them both in the morning. And so my counseling point in my conversation with her was all about half-life. Like this drug is going to wear off. And when it does, you're having some reflex or some rebound effects to that. So you need to make sure that you take it, you know, eight to 10 hours later to help cover for the next eight to 10 hours um, to cover your blood pressure so that when you wake up in the morning, it's not sky high, one, because you haven't taken the dose, but two, because you're having that reflex um, happening. So that's just kind of a, a real life example. I just talked to her recently about um, how half-life can affect the way that medications are working in your body. All right, so let's talk about where elimination happens. Most elimination happens through the kidneys. So the ki kidneys are like our, our waste filtration system. And so they filter waste and then they send things out of our bodies through urine. Um, and so that's primarily where this happens. But some drugs are eliminated through the liver and the bile. Um, so some drugs leave, most drugs leave through the kidneys, um, through urine. Some drugs are eliminated through the liver and bile. And so they leave our body through our stool or our feces. Um, there are some medications that can escape through your breath. Um, through your sweat, through breast milk, but these aren't going to be the largest methods of excretion, but they are some additional ways that medications can leave the body. And with any of these organs, especially your kidney, your liver slow down because of medical conditions that have slowed them down, like diabetes, because of age, because of dehydration, um, because of illness. If anything happens to these organs, then the body may clear medicine more slowly and the levels of that medication can rise in your system. Sometimes it's not a big deal, but other times it can lead to profound um, adverse reactions that we don't want, like your blood pressure getting too low or toxic metabolites building up in your system, which we talked about in the last video as well. Um, so it's really important to make sure that you're always getting your, your organs checked, your kidneys and your liver specifically, since a lot of medications are broken down and removed by the kidneys and the liver. Um, and you just want to make sure that they're working appropriately because there are times where we need to adjust your dose to account for the fact that maybe your kidneys aren't working to full capacity or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> now, some other factors that can affect elimination. So I've talked about kidney health, making sure that you get your labs, especially things like your serum creatinine, your uh, GFR, your filtration rate are things that we look at, your liver. Um, hydration and blood flow. So if you're dehydrated, your blood's not going to flow as freely. That's going to slow filtration and how medications get um, eliminated. Drug interactions. So knowing that some drugs can compete for the same exit route. So if you've got a lot of medications competing for the kidneys or the liver, um, then that can slow or affect how quickly drugs are eliminated. Um, age as well as weight can change how quickly your um, body clears drugs as well. And so if you have a rapid change in your weight, like you were heavier, you got smaller or you were smaller and you gained a bit of weight, um, then that can affect how your body clears the meds as well. Now, let's talk about some safety things. I've already kind of alluded to this, but if a medication leaves the body too slowly, it can build up and that can lead to adverse effects that we don't want. It can also lead to toxicity. If it leaves your body too quickly, then you may not be getting enough benefit from it. So it might be leaving the body before you even had the chance to get in there and do its thing to provide benefits for you. So some examples of this are like if a patient is on something like lithium or digoxin. These two medications require very close monitoring because we don't want them to leave too quickly or the patient a patient could have seizures or some or uh, uh, heart palpitations and arrhythmias. We don't want it to leave too slowly because those drugs themselves can be toxic and lead to seizures or arrhythmias. So we really have to monitor those drugs to make sure that we're in a specific range um, with monitoring for those. Um, certain antibiotics need to be spaced out so that we can keep the blood levels of that antibiotic at a specific amount. Because if we're not able to keep it there um, above this certain level, then the yeah. antibiotic is not going to work as well. Um, so you have to take it you know, as prescribed in order to keep that drug at a certain level in your body. And then also things like pain medications, which I've already talked about, or sleep medications. Um, their different half-lives can explain why they wear off so fast for some people um, or why they last overnight or for longer periods of time for other people. So if you're thinking about this and kind of applying this to your own medications, start by building your med map. 
go look at my free uh, med map starter guide and think about all of your medications and think about and write down are they eliminated primarily by my kidneys by my liver do you know what your kidney levels are do you know what your level liver le levels are are they working well are both organs working together to eliminate that medication and also ask yourself you know as you're reviewing your medications which is the r in bridge um, reviewing regularly, how often should you repeat your labs, your kidney tests, all those things for your medications? And, you know, when your clinician says that your levels are good, what does that mean? Um, and even if they're good, have they changed a little bit over time? So kind of keeping track of that. Also thinking about guiding your team, which is the G in the bridge method and, and re reporting to them any swelling, any fatigue, any changes in your urination, anything that you feel um, could signify slower or faster elimination of that drug, and that would trigger us to go ahead and do a deeper dive into what might be going on. So again, if you want an easy way to track all of this, download the free Med Mind Map Guide. Um, it's a starter guide. It's in the description box below. It's completely free, and you can use that to kind of look and see, you know, what's the half-life of my medication? What's the elimination route? And it'll help you just look up different things that are important for you to note as the person that is really in charge of guiding your team in your treatment process. Um, all right, so that is elimination. That is the partnership between metabolism and excretion, the thing that keeps your medicines or your medications in your body steady and at safe levels. It's part of the reason why the kidney and liver labs matter so much. It's why timing of the dose really does make a difference. So don't just take your twice a day med all in the morning or all at night. Make sure that you're spacing it out appropriately. Um, it's also how your body maintains balance with all of the things that you are taking every single day. So download that guide, hit subscribe so that you don't miss more videos like this. And let me know in the comments what's something that you learned about how your body clears medication. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Tacova Wallace-Gay, Communities Pharmacist. Don't just take your meds, y'all. Make sure you understand them. And I'll see you in the next one.